after a narcissist discards you like you're nothing, this is how they can still get you back. Each and every one of you, thank you for checking out this video. It's a good thing that everyone could make it today. In the video that we are posting today, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you, the viewer, for watching and for your unwavering support. I suppose that we could talk about a few different strategies. If a narcissist truly wants to get back together with you, you can expect them to act in the same way as they did before the separation. They are masters of the art of persuasion, and they are well aware of the things that they must say and do to get you to cooperate. It's the same basic strategy that every category of narcissist uses, and it happens to be applied in every society. They might give their significant other a plethora of items in an effort to assist them in moving on from the past. They will try their best to make you believe that you are their number one concern most of the time. Narcissists are easily recognizable by their remarkable ability to pique the interest of people and keep it there for an extended period of time. The narcissist is unable to look past the fact that you are unique in comparison to other people to recognize the value you possess. There is a possibility that certain narcissists may not give up in their efforts to get back into your life. A narcissist will always find a way to get even with you, just like a boomerang. Tentacles are constantly present while they are around. They never stop looking for an opportunity to get back into your life and could do so at any time. It's possible that they feel this way if they rely on you for financial support or for their daily nutrition, or if they have another reason to want to hurt you in some other way. These are the two primary reasons a narcissist might look for a new romantic partner after having one in the past. Narcissists are slow cleansers because they become sidetracked by what they think to be more reliable supplies. This causes them to take longer to complete tasks. On the other hand, there can be a lack of available workers if there isn't a strong candidate or a sufficient number of applications from qualified people. They will undoubtedly come back at some point. They will make numerous attempts to re-enter your life and will continue to bother you in the same manner in which they did in the past. After all, the devil won't come with a pitchfork and horns. No. They will come to your door and act like an angel with gifts. Narcissists know that the best way to get ready for future hoovering is to put in the work to get close to the people they might take advantage of. The narcissist wants to get them to trust them so they can use them like robots. Their flying monkeys will help with the smear campaign and let the narcissist know where you are, even after you've stopped caring about them. Once you've found a narcissist in your life and decided to implement a no-contact policy, you should also be ready to implement this policy with any friends or family members who are unknowingly acting as flying monkeys for the narcissist. I've learned to treat everyone like a flying monkey, whether it's a sister, a parent, or a child. If my friends hang out with the narcissist, I can say goodbye to them. All of these are ways that the narcissist can keep track of you and figure out when it would be best to contact you, whether it's to break no contact or catch you off guard because of a death in the family, a breakup, or even to congratulate you on an achievement or promotion. The next thing a narcissist does is act like a victim, a person who wants to kill themselves and thinks they can't live without you. Someone who says they will kill you if you leave them or don't come back for them. They would do things that showed how desperate and hopeless they are and how you are their only chance. Because of this behavior, the victim might get a lot of apologies, promises to change, and fake tears. Narcissists are good at crying when they're told to. They think this will give their emotional appeal the extra oomph it needs to win us over. Still, you have to take me at my word. Narcissists, both men and women, may cry for no reason and at any time. Also fake are the tears. Narcissists know that we can choose whether or not to let them back into our lives, and they take advantage of this by saying and doing things that make us think twice. Narcissists would do anything to make us dislike them. Most of the time, people get what they want by appealing to our better selves. So, they will try to get you to agree with them by being charming, telling sad stories, smiling, and maybe even shedding a few tears. They will do anything to win your love, sympathy, help, or loyalty. The narcissist doesn't care about us or understand what we're going through. All they want to do is use us. They expect us to give them the narcissistic fuel that will make them feel better about themselves in the long run. When dealing with a narcissist who has come back into your life, 
it's important not to back down. Fight against their fake attempts to help you, and don't let their niceties lure you back into the organization. We know that a narcissist's niceness isn't real and that when they act this way, it's because of something else. To use you for your assets or to get rid of you completely. Even worse, they don't feel bad about using kindness as a bargaining chip. If getting a present will make you feel better, it's fine to take it. They do a good job of acting sad and sorry. Narcissists will wait for you to open the door for them so they can come back in. It could take the narcissist weeks, months, or even years to get you where they want you to be. But as soon as they do, they will go back to their bad habits or start making plans to ruin you. Narcissists don't just make small, easy-to-fix mistakes that can be fixed with an explanation or apology, or that can be forgiven because the offending behavior won't happen again. In fact, narcissists are hardwired to hurt other people over and over again if they get the chance. And if you leave the door open, they will try to get back in. You should try to get rid of both the narcissist and the annoying flying monkeys who want to give you to the narcissist. If you took away one of the narcissist's flying monkeys, they would probably take away the other one too, since it doesn't help them in any way. The narcissist will only care about you as long as you meet their needs. Narcissists may try flying monkeys if they think you'll let them back into your good graces if they play the victim card or are too nice to them. Be careful of the narcissist's favorite ways to regain control and the people they might hire. Next time will come at some point. Keep an eye out for signs that the narcissist might be coming back and don't be afraid to talk about the ways he or she might have tried to get back into your life. Okay, I guess that's all I can think of at the moment. As always, I hope this information was useful to you. You can leave your thoughts and questions about this topic below. We're looking forward to reading them with great excitement. It would be great if you subscribe to our channel and press the bell button so you wouldn't miss any of the videos we post in the future. Thank you for watching this. Thanks.